typically I want to transfer all this stuff over to the web because I'm using FTP. So what I'm going to do is I'm on the local view. This page is indexed inside a test file, inside a folder called test. And so if I go to test, take this file, index HTML, and now I put it over to the web. Then I get this uh, warning, include dependent files. And I'm going to say no, just to illustrate a point. So I say no. All right now, if I go to my actual web page, so I type in mst.edu slash tilde r hall, and I type the folder test, which is at the next level of the root folder. It's a folder inside the root folder. What it, what the what it should do is look inside the folder test and see if there's an index file. And there should be because I just put it over. It just shows Missouri S&T logo. That's the alternate text, but it doesn't show the image. And the reason is because the image isn't there. But if I look at this file in Dreamweaver, the image is still there. The reason is because in Dreamweaver, it's showing a local reference on my hard drive to this file, which still exists. But it doesn't exist on the web. So if I go to my local view, I go to images, and this top logo, I go ahead and put it back. So now I put it back on the web. So now if I do this, then it works. Um, so that's one of the, if, if an image or something doesn't show up, the main, the first potential reason is that the image just doesn't exist, exist on the web. And it can definitely be confusing if you're editing and Dreamweaver using FTP because it may exist on your hard drive and it may look fine when you preview it or you look at it inside Dreamweaver but it doesn't look good on the web because you haven't transferred that file over and that's why Dreamweaver says do you want me to put dependent files because it means there's some files that are linked to this HTML file and you want to make sure they're on the web now here's one other thing that can screw you up is that say that this file um, that the reference is incorrect or for some reason you move this file to a different folder. And I'll illustrate that by going into the code and let's say that I just change this path slightly. So I take out the little dots. So now what I'm telling the, uh, this page is you need to look for a folder inside your folder, the folder you're located in, and look for top logo.gif. So I'm going to save this first thing is inside Dreamweaver, if I look at the WYSIWYG view, see it screws it, it shows, well wait a minute, that image doesn't exist inside this folder, because what, what I just told it was that inside the folder test there should be a folder named images, but there isn't. And then, so if I, same thing, if I put this on the web, say uh, put dependent, dependent files, I'm going to say no again, just to kind of be pure about it. And now if I refresh this, once again, the logo goes away. But in this case, the problem is not that the logo isn't on the web, because it is on the web, uh, but it's just that the reference is incorrect in the page. And in fact, you can even demonstrate that it's in the web if I go to images, top logo.gif. It even shows the picture. So I know it's there, it's just the reference is incorrect.